partners. Just a little bit of space. Move out here. All right, we got homo drill, one minute. Homo drill. Let's go. Guard passing drills, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> your heel bone, connect to their hip bone. Last one, just start from the guard position. Right? Start from the closed guard and stand up with your partner's guard closed around you. And does everybody know how to do that safely? pants, my elbow connects to my body, not to his leg, okay? I see this all the time, people are trying to like grind their elbow into their partner's leg and think that they're gonna force their partner's leg open. You're not. Force the leg. Yes, 
You're, you're inviting yourself into a bad place. Don't do that, okay? This is not what you're going for. Elbow on my ribs is what I'm going for, okay? Now, again, I stand up with the deep hand first, always. So, foot up. Now I'm going to turn and face my knee, right? My foot flares out. I'll do like a, a little reverse lunge, okay? So I plant my toes, I plant my foot nice and heavy, and I'll do a reverse lunge to come up into a nice uh, stance without having to put a lot of pressure on my knees and ankles, okay? Regardless. Okay, I'm gonna go down safe. Right back in reverse, okay? If you are afraid that your partner is going to drop you on your neck and you'll be paralyzed forever, get over it. <laughs> it won't be in this technique. It won't be at this pace. Get over it. All right? And then tuck your chin to your chest, and you're fine. Okay? So, can't stand up with your partner in the guard. Let's go. Stays resting on the ground, that's fine. He can't do anything to it. Now get 10, don't worry about it. We're gonna do a bunch of those into our next technique. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Trap my opponent's closed guard. Okay. One of my biggest advantages is gravity. Okay. So I'm going to stack all that gravity against him. I'm gonna get out of his range this pass way easier on myself. So, match those lapels, and I drive my knuckles into his chest. Not my, not the heel of my hand, right? Because here, he can just flare that elbow and wrist lock me, okay? I'm gonna put my knuckles in his chest, so I give him a nice stiff wrist. He can still wrist lock me, I still have to watch out, I have to pay attention all the time, but it's much, much more difficult, so I'm, I'm safer, I bought myself some time, okay? So, I'm punching him dead center in the chest. I grab his pocket, right where his pocket would be if he was wearing jeans, right? And I can even, okay, so in competition, this is illegal, right? Reaching inside the sleeve is illegal. Reaching inside the pants, illegal, right? Inside the, the bottom of the pants. Now, I reach inside the pants here, inside the top of his pants, 
perfectly legal. That is okay. And one of my favorite jujitsu quotes, don't worry about it, the snake won't bite you. Okay, go ahead and reach into his pants. The snake won't bite you. Okay, now, with my elbow locked to my body. Is that Seneca? Uh, I believe it was. It was either Seneca or Braulio. Yeah, okay. Uh, but I want to say it was Seneca. So, flare my foot out, come up into my reverse lunge, and I stand up. Now, I bring both hands into my, el into my ribs. Okay, I want my elbows as close to my ribs as I can. Now, the hand that was on the hip comes, just traces his leg down, and I lean, 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 lean. Okay? I'm leaning to make my, give myself more room for my arm. If I just press arm v leg, his leg wins. Okay? So I lean to give a stiff arm. Now, my bones versus his muscles. And bones beat muscles. Okay? So stiff arm, that down. Now I'm going to drive across it. Okay? Uh, and we'll end, we'll finish in this position right here. Okay? So elbow tight to my body, combat base, stapling his leg to the floor. Okay? So I want you guys to stand up break the guard, and then come back down into this position with one leg staple. One more again from the beginning. Two lapels. I'm gonna punch him in the stern, okay? Good stiff arm, driving my knuckles, not putting my wrist in danger. I'm gonna grab the pants, okay? I can grab inside, or I can just grab the pocket, whatever, but I'm gonna grab right at the hip bone, attach that hip bone, and then put my elbow on my ribs. Stand up in my reverse lunge, and my elbows meet my body. Okay, now, I lean, 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 as my hand traces the leg, until I can go all the way straight. With a straight arm, I'm gonna drive that leg to the floor, and staple it, sitting into my combat base. Okay, I want you to get just to this position, and we'll stop. Question? Cool. Uh, Let's go with our partners five to seven times each. Break on two. One, two. Double guard pool. up into my combat base, okay? Drive that leg to the floor, staple his leg in. My elbow is still tight. I like to keep my elbow inside his knee here, okay? So I've got two options, and I'm gonna take whichever one he is resisting least, okay? So if my partner is sitting like Eric is right here and not framing toward me, then I'm gonna crowd in, okay? And I'm gonna take all this space away from him. So, one, I'm gonna crowd up into this space. I'm gonna take my inside hand, and I'm gonna reach my middle finger, my ring finger, into his armpit, okay? So, reach that ring finger into his armpit. Now, I wanna put the back of my hand on the floor and my shoulder in my palm, okay? So, I put my back of the, my hand on the floor and my shoulder in my palm. All right, really drive that over, and I wanna put as much pressure into him as possible, okay? Now, here, if he doesn't, tuck his chin in, 
right? I can get the Von Zucho here, and if he does tuck his chin in, I'm gonna turn his face. But that's what I want. So I'm gonna turn that face away. Now, I'm gonna reach in underneath. I'm gonna grab into his belt or kimono here. Right? What I'm trying to do is put an anchor to keep him from bringing his legs together, okay? I'm like blocking his feet apart so that I can sit into that space kind of whenever I want to. So driving my shoulder into my hand, blocking his legs so we can't come through. Now I'm gonna sit out onto my hip and make a big rainbow with my foot. Okay, I wanna go out far away because if he pushes against me, bridges, he wants to move toward me, I can use this foot to just push back. Okay. So let's say I, I lose this hand, right? He kicks this free. Yeah, he wants to bridge. Nah, not gonna work. Right? So I've got this push to keep going that direction into him. And if you notice, all I do is let go of my staple, and I'm, I'm all the way back. So again, my overside pass. Okay, we went through our break. I staple down to the floor. Now, I'm gonna crowd in the space and turn his head away. So over the shoulder, going deep into the armpit with my ring finger, and I'm gonna drive everything together into the floor. Right? My hand comes underneath the leg and grabs his belt or his kimono to keep his feet apart. Now, I drop onto my hip, plant my foot far away so I can push with it. Now I can push the hips away, take my foot out, and good side control. Okay, questions? From the top or from uh staple. So uh, let's go ahead and we have enough time. Let's go ahead and do everything from all the way standing up. Okay. okay so I'm going to do it all the way through the guard break, all the way to the pass. Okay. Back to partners break on two. One, two. All right. So I come in position, but this time Eric frames this direction. All right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He doesn't want to grab that head. Right. He doesn't want to come in here and crowd him out. Okay. So I can't go this direction anymore. But I still go underneath. So I'm gonna to continue to reach for this side of his body. Right? Maybe I'll secure a, a collar, or I'll grab his arm. Um, but I'm gonna grab something on that side of the body and, and make sure I'm, I'm keeping close to him. Now, I'm gonna go underneath that leg on the other side. I'm gonna drop my weight, or drop my level, okay? So bring my shoulder down. And I'm gonna switch. Now there, I took the weight off of my leg, okay? I brought my shoulder down underneath the shoulder, and I brought my leg up, so I put my weight all into my butt, right? Instead of stapling his leg down, I retreat, and I'm loaded on both feet, and now I'm gonna go straight forward, pressing this knee to his ear. I turn my hip to meet his hip. I wanna put the ball of my hip on the ball of his hip. So, in position, I'm going for the cross face, but he frames me away. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't want me to come toward him. So I'm going to secure that belt. I'm going to secure the collar. I'm going to drop my weight and back up at the same time, okay? So I'm coming down. Right? I keep my elbow tight to my knee. I keep my heels heavy, right? And I'm fairly balanced side to side. If he pushes me straight backwards, go push. Right? I'm not going anywhere. Right? This is part of it. But even without that push, right? Like I'm still fairly balanced without that. So I'm gonna secure. Now I'm gonna drive his knee to his nose or to his ear, right? And then put my hip on his hip. So I push with my feet and drive forward. Now I turn until I can put my hip on his hip. His legs fall away. So I go chest to chest for my pass. we got just a few minutes to rep this one out, uh, and we'll get a round in. So, back of your partners, break on two. One, two.